Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan, and this is the Epigee Rocketry Workshop where I show you how to build rockets. Today I'm going to talk to you about cutting body tubes using the Estes Tube Cutting Guides. Um, these just came out, and it's uh, early 2012 in case you're watching this video in 2015 or later. Um, and these just came out, and it's a series of rings that fit on various size tubes to allow you to cut the tubes easier. Now I've done videos on cutting tubes before, and if you go to the Apogee website at www.apogeerockets.com and you go to the downloads link and go to the advanced construction videos, in there you'll find my, my series on cutting tubes, one for small tubes, one for large tubes. Now this is Estes's version of cutting tubes, and it's, and it's kind of a different way, and I'll show you how it works. Um, there's different sizes of these rings, and they're labeled for the size tube that they fit on. Um, they go from a BT-5 to BT-20. This is the standard size. This is the mini engine size. The BT-50, this is for like a D engine size for engine mounts. BT-60, and here's a BT-55. And the way it's, each one of them is two-part ring. And it just slides onto the tube like that. And then when you press them together, it locks in place really tight. And that's really critical when you're cutting a tube because you want a nice straight cut. Um, so to cut, you just take your hobby knife and you just want to, first you lock it in place at the right spot and then you just run your knife around it. And notice that I'm, I'm spinning the tube. I'm not really doing anything with the rings. The rings are just holding the position. And you want to keep this knife blade flat up against the side of the, the rings uh, because that gives you your nice straight cut. And you don't have to go around, go through all the way at one time. And so there is a nice cut. Um, to unlock them, don't just pull. Uh, what you do is you take one hand on each ring and you kind of counter twist and then they just free themselves up just like that. Um, they're also cool for um, drawing lines around the perimeter of a tube. You know, you can measure, measure the, the, the position and then just run your pen or pencil. I always use pencil. Um, I'm just using pen here just so that you can see it in the video. Um, pen, the ink will bleed through ink, uh, paint when you go to paint the rocket, so you always use a pencil for marking tubes. But I just wanted to show you how a pen would look. Um, so this is the Estes Tube Marking Guide. We do have them at Apogee Components. Just come to our website, www.apogeerockets.com. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop, where I show you how to build rockets. My name is Tim Van Milligan. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.